If you're collaborating with someone who doesn't use GarageBand but you want to import their audio files or stems into GarageBand, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Step one, we need some stems or audio files to actually work with. I've got a project here in Logic Pro for iPad, and what I'm going to do is export this as individual tracks so that we can use this to import into GarageBand. Now, there's some different options and things you can consider when exporting stems. I'm not covering that in this video, but if you're exporting stems from Logic Pro or from GarageBand, I've got separate videos covering the complete process. So Logic Pro has given us a convenient zip file here. Let's save it to our files. And I'm gonna save it in my iCloud drive under downloads and hit save. I'm now gonna open the files app by swiping down, typing files and tapping on the app. And here under iCloud Drive and Downloads, there is our zip file. And this will work just as well if you've received a zip file via Google Drive, OneDrive, iCloud Drive from any platform, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got these WAV files ready to go, we can jump to the next step, which is to import them into GarageBand. Let's now tap on this zip file to extract it to a folder. And if we tap the folder, you'll see all of our files are here. Now Logic Pro does a good job, it numbers them and names them. But the one thing that's missing here is the BPM. If you're getting stems to bring into GarageBand, make sure you know the BPM from the original person who's exported them. Now at this point, we could jump into GarageBand and import these one by one, but I prefer to copy them here in the Files app. So I'm gonna hit Select and then tap Select All. And down the bottom here, we're going to tap on the More button and then tap on Copy. Now I'm going to tap on my iPad, GarageBand for iOS, and the GarageBand file transfer folder. Tap in the space here, and hold, and then tap on paste. And like magic, we have all of our tracks here ready to go. Now it's finally time to jump into GarageBand on our iPhone or iPad. We're going to create a new song here, and just select the audio recorder just to open up the project. Tap on the tracks view in the top left. And in the top right, you'll notice under the loop icon, we have a little number there. That's telling us that we have some new tracks ready to import. Let's tap on the loops icon, and there you have all six of our tracks ready to be imported. But there's one thing we need to do before we do that, and that is set up our project. So the couple of things that you need to do here are to set the BPM. So tap on your settings there and make sure your BPM is at 110 and your time signature is at 44 or whatever the time signature is. The other thing you'll want to do is tap the plus button here and make sure that this is on automatic. This will ensure that enough space is here for you to bring in the entire audio files. And believe it or not, that's all the hard part. Now, all we need to do is tap on the loops here, grab track number one here, tap and hold and drag it into a blank track and release. And then if we zoom in by pinching in with two fingers, check it out. We've got our entire track there ready to go. Let's hit the play button to test the audio. Sounds good. And you'll see there that it's right on the grid and right in time with our metronome because we've set the BPM correctly. And now it's rinse and repeat. Let's tap on the loops here. Let's grab the guitar track number two, drag it and drop it here into this track and continue doing that for the rest of our tracks. And there you have it, all six of our original tracks from our previous Logic project are now here in GarageBand. From here, we can go ahead and start mixing just as we would any other track. We can change volume levels, we can adjust things like panning, we can add audio unit effects, volume changes, whatever you like. It's all there at your fingertips. And it's a great way to collaborate with other users that may be using other platforms apart from GarageBand. And finally, you just might wanna clean up the project by deleting any tracks you don't need and renaming your tracks by tapping on the icon and hitting rename because you'll see the name is here on the audio file but it's not here in your track name so setting those up will just make the next process of mixing even easier and now all you need to do is start adding your new tracks and recording and you can collaborate easily with other folks I hope you found this one useful. If you're creating, recording, collaborating, and releasing music in GarageBand, there's a heap of other videos linked in the description, and I'll see you next time.